Hi everyone, Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays to everybody watching. Um, I hope that your preparations for Christmas are going well and not stressful. Um, mine have been a little bit. If you've watched um, all along, you've seen some of my... Oh, um, I'm feeling tons better. I just finished my DIY Christmas presents for my girls. Um, for a while there it was touch and go whether they would work. Um, they're not exactly as I had planned, but I'm feeling better because they're off of the list. And now I can get to sending really late Christmas cards to everybody. <laughs> but <clears throat> I think that's just part of the whole deal. Um, today or this week's video, I thought I would share what I feel um, Darian has given me for Christmas these last few weeks. He is not a typical go to the store and shop for your mom. Um, he is a very typical go to the store and buy candy for myself kind of guy. <laughs> um, but in the last few weeks, I've been noticing things that he is doing that I am choosing to look at as my personal Christmas presents um, from him to me, especially because um, I have talked about it in previous videos, um, how we've been in kind of a funk since the end of October and moving through December him really fighting me on doing schoolwork or playroom fun um and then i you know there's been sickness and exhaustion and so i'm not putting in as much um into the playroom as i want um i wish i had more time to get more volunteers and to be in the playroom for five hours a day and stuff like that thus far I have not achieved those goals and so sometimes it can feel really really frustrating like am I doing enough <clears throat> excuse me of the sunrise program um, <laughs> ideals um, and the whole program. Am I doing enough to get him to a place where, you know, he's going to be able to see his life and be the best that he can be? And sometimes my answer is no. And not for a lack of trying, but sometimes life just puts me there. And so, um, we've been in this place for a few months and yet Darian is still doing some things that are amazing and they wouldn't be amazing for a typical child but they are amazing for him and I really feel like those are the things that I'm really focused on and am choosing to look at as my gifts from my son to me. So there's been three things I really wanted to share with you all. So um, the first one is kind of, ew, gross, <laughs> which sounds really awful, but um, <clears throat> if you have been watching previous videos, I have talked about this problem that we had with our son for quite some time um, with poop smearing or fecal matter transference onto other objects in the house. <laughs> um, and one of those, like he used to do it in his room and it would be a bit, big mess all over. And it wouldn't be like he was, you know, drawing pictures or whatever. It was more like I have something on my backside and I want to get it off and would rub it on his bed posts and things like that. <clears throat> well, he, he stopped doing that quite a while ago, but we talked about how he has certain things that he does at certain times and using the washroom in that way usually happens at night and then he gets a shower because he doesn't like the sensation of wiping his bottom with toilet paper um, or he doesn't feel like he's clean or I don't know what the mechanics are but that's been an issue for us and so um, <clears throat> what he would do in order to stop if his body said, well, we need to go mid-afternoon, he'd be like, yeah, no, that's not happening, and would shut that down by taking my curtains and wiping his bottom that way. And that would usually stop it, and then he'd use the bathroom that evening. And so randomly, I would find... Um, 
the fecal material on the material of my curtains. <laughs> and yeah, so I have not been able to have curtains for quite some time in my house. <clears throat> excuse me. And the other day I was having company, I was cleaning the house and I was like, you know what? I'm sick and tired of seeing our closet in our entryway full of boots and jacket messes and stuff like that. Cause I don't know about you guys, but for my kids, it is impossible <clears throat> to take your shoes off and place them neatly together. I don't know why. I don't know why it's impossible, but it is. Um, their method of removing footwear is to kick it in the general direction of the closet and then spend all morning trying to find the pair that they lost. Um, thus far, we have not figured out that, you know, putting them together means no frustration in the morning. Anyway, um, so I was getting sick and tired of just looking at this mess. I've got a lovely mirror on the other side of the wall too, so I get to see it from both angles. <laughs> and so I'm like, you know what? I don't even care anymore. I will wash that curtain as, as many times or that curtain as many times as I need to in order to just cover this mess. And um, for the last three, four weeks, it has been up and no special presents. <laughs> um, and so I am looking at that as growth and maturity and him having an understanding of either forgetting that that's what he does or that he realizes now that that's something that needs to stop for obvious reasons. Um, <clears throat> but I've been really, really thrilled with that particular gift, as you can imagine. <laughs> um, the other thing I've talked about before is the gift that Sunrise has given us thus far is the fact that we feel like we are talking to our son, not just at our son. And this has been manifested in a few different ways for us. Um, the main one has been that Darian um, is responding to us. He doesn't always respond verbally, but the other day, <clears throat> and this is this is a, a, I don't know, a hint into my housekeeping um, tendencies is if something bothers me enough. I clean it. <laughs> so um, our backyard is a big old mess. Um, we've been trying to grow grass there. It has not worked between the dog and our three children. There's just, yeah, and previous owners and what they did. Essentially growing grass in our backyard has been impossible. And then if there's any moisture or wetness or whatever, our dog gets completely filthy and muddy and then when she comes in she shakes and it goes all over my blue hallway <clears throat> nice color not good for hiding mud and so in any case it had been a while but it's one of those jobs where you look at and you're like okay I could clean this right now and then she'll come in in 20 minutes and completely destroy it and so you just go whatever but it got bad enough that I was like, eh, it's driving me crazy. And so I was cleaning it up. So I'm on my hands and knees with a brush washing the walls. And Darian comes and he just wanted to see where I was. And I'm like, hey buddy, can you go get mommy a paper towel? <laughs> and so off he runs and I don't think anything of it. I just, you know, random thought, random question. I didn't even think that he would, but he comes trotting along a little while later and he has like one square <laughs> of paper towel. But it's things like that, that I am just so, 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 so thankful for him. Um, he helped me take off. I was vacuuming the floor and he, I, because I don't like vacuuming over the cord, I actually hooked it on one of our cupboard knobs. And I'm like, Darren, can you undo the, like unhook the, the wire? I was more articulate when I asked him. <laughs> um, can you take that off of the hook? And he absolutely did. And it's things like that where you're just like, it seems like such a 
big thing to us. I know it's not for other parents, but it is a huge thing when you ask these little tiny things and instead of just nothing or blank stares or, you know, running away where he actually does it and I make a huge deal in pure sunrise fashion, make a huge deal about it because I really, really want to encourage that. But it's things like that that I look at him and I go in a time when I feel like I haven't really pushed and pushed and pushed to get sunrise done and stuff like that. He's still making these big leaps and bounds forward and I'm so excited. So the last one is kind of in the same vein, but it's not asking him to do something that's completely outside, it's taking care of himself. and. I know that he could do it himself for quite some time because randomly if we were going to go to a candy store or whatever, he would suddenly just show up dressed and he'd be like, okay, let's go. And I'm like, well, we have to eat breakfast first. Um, but he, <clears throat> he actually has been, if I ask him, um, the last three, four days, I've been saying, Darian, can you go get dressed in your jammies for bed? Or Darian, can you go get dressed so that we can go do this, that, or the other thing? Or it's time to get dressed. And he has been getting dressed himself without my influence or my actually doing it. And for quite some time too, he was doing this thing where it's time to get dressed and he would throw up a leg and ask us to take it off for him and stuff. And, <clears throat> excuse me, he's 11 years old, going to be 12 in April. And it's one of the things that Sunrise talks about as giving him as much control as you possibly can. Now, I know some people might disagree, but I looked at the whole getting dressed thing as one of those things that I, it didn't matter to me because for him it was a plain session. How can I make sure that I can't, mommy can't get my jammas off? And then how can I make sure that she can't get my clothes back on? And it was a way that we would connect and play and whatever. Randomly, the last three, four days, he has been doing it, just doing it. Didn't need me to get him dressed, didn't need me. And I don't know if that'll continue for a long time, but I am looking at it as Darian's Christmas present to me so that I can see him growing and changing and becoming more independent. And I'm just so excited about it. And as far as, you know, things that he could buy at the store for me or things that his dad or his sisters can get for me to wrap and put under the Christmas tree. I honestly don't care. I don't care. I care about these strides that he is making, these things that he is doing that will lead him having a better life down the road. Um, that all to say that I'm still planning on January once the girls are back in school to really, really again focus. Um, my daughter's no longer doing eye therapy. I, we have to do some exercises to maintain stuff, but that whole big push, that whole year of our lives doing eye therapy with her um, is done the chapters closed um, and then any of the other things that I really want to do I can actually take off the list and just go okay sunrise homeschool is my big focus and I don't have anything else that I need to really push push or try and figure out how I'm going to accomplish it. So I'm really excited um, about what's happening, but I'm also really excited about what is gonna happen in the new year. So I hope that this video has been something that you've enjoyed. If you have, please like. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Um, this is what we do. We just chat about things um, that um, are changing and happening and growing and you're getting to see um, updates as they come and yeah I hope that you have a Merry Christmas this week and I hope you have lovely gifts like the ones Darian's giving me um, and yeah I just wish you guys a Merry Merry Christmas and a wonderful holiday season and have a wonderful wonderful day
All right. Take care. Bye-bye.